This Aussie scientist saved millions of lives by helping make a drug called penicillin. His name was Howard Florey. Penicillin fights bacterial infections that, left untreated, could be deadly. But its discovery all happened by accident. A guy named Alexander Fleming left some dirty petri dishes lying around when he went on holiday. When he got back, mould had formed, but around it there was no bacteria. Fleming wrote a paper about this special mould, but that's pretty much where he left it. About a decade later in 1939, an Australian man, Howard Florey, decided this mould was worth a closer look. Howard and his team found ways to extract the powerful parts that fought bacteria. And within a few years, the world's first antibiotic was born, penicillin. It would go on to play a really big role during the Second World War because of its ability to fight infected wounds, saving the lives of millions of soldiers. Penicillin has been treating bacterial infections ever since and has led to more antibiotics being discovered. In 1945, Howard Florey, along with his colleague Ernst Chain and original discoverer Alexander Fleming, were awarded a Nobel Prize. An amazing accomplishment, but Florey also appeared on our $50 note for a while. That's pretty good too. It's something we all use pretty much every day. But did you know an Aussie invented Wi-Fi? John O'Sullivan is a physicist and engineer and was inspired by Stephen Hawking's theory of evaporating black holes, so he set out to find them. He never managed it, but he did invent a tool that reduced the interference of radio signals. Fast forward to 1992 and John was working for the CSIRO and was given the job of inventing a faster way for computers to communicate without the use of wires. Remembering his previous work, he tweaked it and created the basics of Wi-Fi that are still used today. His invention and the CSIRO around $1 billion in royalties after he patented it in Australia and the US. Every time I uh, you know, pull my mobile out and think, yeah, yeah, I, it's, it's got the same, the same technology, my laptop has the same technology, you can't help but feel pride. Us too, John. Us too. This Aussie was an absolute pioneer. In the 1930s, Ruby Payne Scott was one of a handful of female physicists in the country. And she'd go on to play a really important role in the development of radar at what's now the CSIRO. Ruby Payne Scott helped develop radar equipment using bent coat hangers and sticky tape, which helped protect Australia's coastline during World War II. She also worked in solar radio astronomy helping measure radio emissions from the sun and stars. But she was a trailblazer in other ways too. As a woman, she was discriminated against. She had to fight for a decent wage and she got in trouble for wearing shorts rather than dresses to work, even though her job involved climbing ladders and getting onto rooftops. She was even forced to resign when she became pregnant. Ruby never went back to working as a physicist and spent the rest of her life as a teacher. But today she's remembered with a special CSIRO award and this nifty profile. <laughs>